Dr. Muhammad Ismail, next. Good afternoon to all. I thank Ranjin, Bibin and uh, the whole Cotton team for a wonderful conference and allow me to present this uh, video. Most of us learned laparoscopic surgery by doing a laparoscopic appendicectomy. But sometime um, this will be so challenging, especially when we deal with an appendicular abscess. This patient was presented to a primary surgeon with the features of appendicitis and they performed a laparoscopic uh, a lap diagnostic laparoscopy. Uh, to the surprise, the right layer fossa was empty and uh, there was a whole uh, abscess uh, in the pelvis and uh, pouring pus. So, uh, they were not sure whether uh, this is uh, really an appendicular abscess or a diverticular perforation because the whole sigmoid and the mass was together. So, as they don't have a facility for the CT or uh, uh, the other advanced facilities, they uh, uh, the, the patient bystanders were explained and referred the patient to our center. And when the patient came, patient was in severe pain, having fever. We did a um, CT. CT shows a perforated appendicitis, appendix with uh, abscess formation. As the patient was um, uh, in pain, we did a laparoscopy. And there was a large mass in the pelvis with the localized abscess formation with the dense additions of the sigmoid colon and the cecum to the mass. So whenever we get a, a appendicular abscess, these are the three steps. Always there will be additions. So you gently separate the additions, try to find the tip of the appendix and the base of the appendix and uh, uh, try to avoid injury to the cecum and the other structures. So this was the um, picture when we got him, there was a lot of pus in the pelvis and um, we tried to uh, remove the additions as uh, the cecum and the appendix was actually pulled down to the uh, pelvis with the severe additions, dense additions to the sigmoid. So we were not sure whether uh, the, any, any diverticular perforation from the sigmoid was there. But as the CT shows, clearly shows there is uh, uh, appendicular perforation, we try to dissect the, uh, the additions. Uh, always uh, two or three landmarks you, you can um, look for when we are getting a mass like this. Uh, see the tinea coli, I mean, um, and uh, try to reach a tubular structure. And uh, once you release the additions, you can uh, look for the tip of the appendix. Uh, here you can see the sigmoid is there and uh, that was the tubular structure with the, uh, the omentum uh, adhering to that. We tried to uh, release the additions and the omentum. I mean always it is very helpful, uh, this hydro dissection is helpful in uh, doing these um, uh, times and you can see the pus is uh, pouring out and um, um, still we cannot uh, identify the tubular structures and or the tip of the appendix. You have to be very careful in these situations because the whole thing is uh, inflamed and uh, there, is, there may be a uh, injury to the cecum. Uh, so that you have to be, so the additions were uh, released and um, looks like that is the the, the tubular structure I was looking for and um, these additions were slowly released uh, with the uh, hydro dissection and that is the appendix which was going down. So that is the appendix which uh, now you can see slowly that the tubular structure is uh, coming into picture. And once uh, you get that, then you follow and try to take the base and the tip. First, I uh, decided to divide the appendix once I see the uh, appendix because it is the base is still going down and the cecum was again uh, behind that. Now you can slowly you can uh, identify the structures. So. 
slowly with the suction uh, tip and the these additions you can uh, um, divide uh, with the use of the harmonic or even you can use the cautery but always um, uh, make it a point that you should not enjoy the uh, cecum. So that is uh, the appendix which was uh, taken by releasing the additions. So when you reach the base, uh, you take care that you won't leave a uh, stump but at the same time, you should not enjoy the cecum also. So now uh, we can put the loop. And um, that was, um, we did a good uh, peritoneal toilet and um, the specimens were removed in a bag uh, with a train. Then this patient was kept for NPO for uh, 24 hours and then slowly we started uh, the uh, oral fluids and uh, got discharged on the third day. Thank you. And I take this opportunity to invite you all to Perindalmana MS uh, College for the uh, annual CME 2023. And um, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ismail. Thank you, Dr. Thank you for the Dr. Smil for the nice presentation of a difficult problem. So, so occasionally we come across such cases. It's very important that you identify the uh, appendix properly before you remove that. Sometimes one or two cases the appendix was not at all identifiable, but for after a long search, I had to resort to uh, drainage, and then followed by an interval like appendicectomy about two months later. Then I could see the appendix. Yeah, always if the if you cannot uh, dissect or you cannot identify the uh, structures properly, you just to train out, put a train, come out, and uh, then you go after a month or six weeks uh, for an interval appendectomy. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you very much. Answer. Thank you, sir. Thank you to the esteemed chairpersons. We come to the end of the session. Thank you to all the speakers.